The origins of this guy go back 20 years. In my early 20, early to mid 20s, I was competing at a fairly high level in terms of middle distance athletics. I was hell bent on ma making the 2004 Athens Olympic marathon qualification time. I was training at the time over 100 miles per week, but as I was pushing the boat out in terms of overloading in training, you know, my body just wasn't responding how it should, not in a functional manner. I was very able to run five minute miles, yet if I s stood up out of a chair, I'd be in chronic pain around my hips, um, in around the iliac crest area especially. It was just, um, it just wasn't healthy, it wasn't sustainable. My ambitions of, of getting to where I wanted in terms of athletics were were cut short back then we didn't have the this smr self myofascial release tools that we have today you know i hadn't even seen a foam roller back then you know i i was getting treatment twice a week but you know when you're training at that highest level you you know you just need constant daily treatment to negate the rigors of of um that sort of training so you know that's my little sob story now fast forward 15 years i'm 39 years of age i'm gone from 60 kilos in body weight right out to 90 and what i've i've arrived at a state now where i still have all that chronic injury carried forward but but not the fitness and it really came to a head when i was told i was going to require back surgery now at the time i was actually coaching or under 16 youngsters in uh, Gaelic games in Wolf Tones and Shannon and I was looking at the young lads bringing in uh, foam rollers and using them ahead of games and training and they just struck me that they made a lot of sense it you know essentially it's a, a bit of pipe with a bit of foam wrapped around it but it gives you the ability to put this thing on the floor and get down and self myofascial release on it I remember after I got that, I spent two hours every day solid for two weeks down on the floor, rolling around on this foam roller, trying to get into every nook and cranny of my body to eke out areas that I felt were tight. And, um, you know, I was just, I suppose, playing with my body really to, to find the areas that I could release. And lo and behold, after two weeks engaged in that process, I knew I was not going to require back surgery. Something had just shifted or released inside me that, you know, I was now able to bend down and put on my socks again and, and just get out of bed without being stiff as a board. So, um, so yeah, it was, it was a revelation. Uh, but I suppose what was happening in conjunction with that, every time I'd be on the foam roller, I'd be saying to myself, Yes, I'd be gone from this corner of the room or to that corner and back again three times over. And I would say to myself, you know, if this thing was was stable or was positioned, you know, like we have it now on a stable base, wouldn't it even be more functional and effective again? So I prototyped this and once I prototyped it and got on it, I just knew this was going to up the level of foam rolling again because the ability to roll now on a stable base and especially for the back by having two rollers mounted on a frame you cut out that issue of being over arched in a compromised position it allowed you to safely and securely um, perform SMR through self myofascial fascial release through the lower back and um, yeah I, I had my prototype I continued to work with that of course and I showed it to physios, chiros, and you know, if everyone I showed it to who used it, they said 100% um, this merit's been commercialized, this can be so beneficial to people. And I suppose now, today, we're, we're four years on, the backballer has gone from strength to strength. You know, if you, if you look at the reviews from people who purchase it, they, they rave about it. You know, it's done similar to what it's done for me, to a lot of people that just, enabled them to go from chronic state of tightness and injury back to being regaining their full range of motion and getting back to fitness um in more recent times then of course we've brought along the muscle baller 
which is the perfect companion for the competing athlete. This thing resides at home. This travels everywhere in the gear bag. You pull it out ahead of the game, uh, ahead of training, and just release your body, get it ready to go before you go out and, and risk straining or injury. And um, more recently then, of course, we the big double width model, which is for really for your larger framed individual that may struggle with this. And um, it allows them to get down and get that release through the back. So um, there's the origin of where this comes from. Um, this represents our journey going forward. And I'd say, watch this space, guys. We might, uh, we might pull a few more birds out of the hat. Thanks for, uh, thanks for listening.